Progressive Party takes over in Philadelphia's Convention Hall, the site of the recent Republican and Democratic conventions. Henry Wallace and his family draw loud cheers from 3,000 delegates. Wallace and Senator Glenn Taylor are unanimously nominated. The platform calls for peace negotiations with Russia, an end to the Marshall Plan, nationalization of public utilities, and repeal of the Taft-Hartley Act. The next night, Wallace enters Philadelphia's ballpark to accept his nomination. Refusing to reject communist support, Wallace blames the Berlin crisis on Truman's get tough policies. Satirizing Dewey's acceptance speech, in which Dewey said he made no promises, Wallace says, I tell you frankly, that in obtaining the nomination of the Progressive Party, a nomination which I accept with pride, I have made commitments. I have made them freely. I shall abide by them. 30,000 enthusiasts who paid to get in cheer the nominees of the Progressive Party, Henry Wallace of Iowa and Glenn Taylor of Idaho.